Tonight, live event organizers say that they still feel comfortable holding live events during the current COVID-19 spike while keeping people safe. ABC 27's Micah Cho is live tonight. And Micah, are these organizers making any changes? Yeah, Ava, a lot of changes. Organizers tell me they're currently watching the COVID-19 situation, but they're doing things like asking people to wear masks while indoors and encouraging people to keep social distancing up. But it's been an incredible experience having our community come together. The Sundown Concert Series hosted by the Tallahassee Downtown Improvement Authority has already been through two concerts at Cascades Park. They say they've seen over 1,500 guests each time. We want first and foremost is to keep everybody safe. So we do ask that people wear masks if they'd like to. It's perfectly acceptable to do that with outdoor events. Elizabeth Emanuel, the Downtown Improvement Authority, say they have COVID-19 safety protocols in place set with the city in case COVID-19 cases do get out of hand, like mandatory mask wearing or less of a crowd, but say they haven't had to enact any of that so far. Another popular Tallahassee event, First Fridays, will go on as planned. Adam K says they want to keep their First Fridays going for their businesses, already going through a tough year. He doesn't want to put them through another burden. This is definitely a predominantly outdoor space and definitely social distance friendly and about as safe as you can get as far as getting out there and getting back in the community. However, Railroad Square does request you to wear a mask when visiting any of their stores inside during the event. Tallahassee Beer Festival has moved to the Tucker Center to allow more social distancing. Organizer Ben Graybar says this year they'll be doing contactless pouring during the event because of COVID-19 to limit physical touch during it. I'm really excited about it. It's planned for months and then it goes by in just a few hours. TLH Beer Fest has sold about a thousand tickets. They're at max capacity. If you're interested in going, though, they'll have tickets available at 230 for a discounted price in Tallahassee. Micah Cho for ABC 27. Thank you, Micah.